This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. Hello and welcome to the skating lesson. I'm Jennifer Kirk. And I'm Dave Lees. We're here at Nationals. We're in the press conference room, guys, kind of a backstage look. Senior dancers warming up for their short dance, but we want to talk about the events that took place yesterday. We had the short program for the pairs and the ladies. Let's jump into the pairs, though, because we have a surprise leader, Tara with an H and Danny. New short program, clean program. Thoughts on their performance? I'm actually not shocked that they're leading and I don't want like any pair girls to come find me in the street. I just think that they changed their program. They had that new energy. They were really excited. They were coming in here loving their program. You could tell even in the 20 minute practice yesterday. I thought Alexa and Chris looked stronger in the practice, mm -hmm. but then it didn't translate to competition. Tara and Danny, I spoke to them a couple weeks ago. They were practicing on Christmas and Christmas Eve. That I was going to say that, Mr. Peterson, so before, so we're backstage and this is our yeah. first time really watching these skaters and the coaches interact before they get on the ice. And before they got on, Mr. Peterson took both of them and had them do a landing position and he was just, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> getting some aggression on them, Dave Lee's, but he was just hitting them, like waking their body up. And it's I a little intense. Like I, very intense. I, I don't know if we could be husbands. Like I think <laughs> the intensity, like it's yeah. like a chemical reaction. It would just explode. But it worked, and I felt like the program worked. I do want to say, though, watching them on the ice with the other two teams just in um, isolation and then in succession, it seems like their skating skills maybe aren't as strong as Marissa and Mervyn, but they bring some sort of performance quality, not quite up to Alexa and Chris, but when you put it all together, they were just the best team last night. They were the ones who really seized that moment because the door was so wide open. Yeah, I always do the eye test when you kind of looking at skating skills, the prints, the whole package. Just who does your eye go to in mm -hmm. the practice? And I have to say, my eye went to Alexa and Chris first initially. You know, they have the big skating. They really have worked on extending everything. Yeah, they and command commanding the, the ice. ice. But Tara and Danny are so consistent, and you just know that they are going to go out there and do two clean programs. I do think her sow cow can be a little under at times. Um, it's something to watch for. Mm -hmm. It is nationals. Um, but, but they're just so consistent, and they're so strong, and I think this program is a big step up for them and certainly their performance showed that. Here. Well the biggest question with them really is they've never been in this position of they've always kind of been the underdogs last season was great winning the bronze medal so we asked them during the press conference how they're going to handle being in first place after the short program heading into the long program and how this may be different from some other events. It's always a fight. We're fighters so it doesn't matter and you know Alexa and Chris and Marissa and Mervin are fighters so they're not going to take it lightly in any way. They're always going to be trying to push the envelope. So whether in, we're in first place or eighth place, we're going to skate the same program. Well, speaking about press conferences and kind of other events, I do want to talk about Alexa and Chris because she was really upset in the mix zone right after, understandably so, missing the split twist and then Chris falling on the triple sow. And it feels like the momentum that they had early in the season has kind of waned a bit since the Grand Prix final. They have to come back in the long program. And they were skating well before coming into here. They've really been in their zone. She's, you know, she gets in her national zone. She talked about that earlier in the year and it's really evident. And I think they expected to skate well. They just said that they didn't have that spark. They thought the program was flat. It didn't have the same energy that we've seen so many times. I think that they certainly could win this national title. I just I think that needs to turn it on on Saturday night and skate. I do think, though, that Tara and Danny are so steady. How are they and they're skate? known for being really consistent in the long program. I think that's going to really fare well for them. But Phil Hirsch had kind of the moment of the Paris press conference when he asked Alexa, how did he phrase this? Well, he was asking her if he thought that the momentum they gained by making the final was a giant step back. And the way the question, I mean, there's one thing about asking challenging questions. I mean, I asked Ashley a challenging question, got to look. The way it came out, it, it sounded... Like it, but she did a really good job. At, I mean, you watch this, you guys. Let, let me know your just everything. Watch this interaction. Alexa, Chris was considered a step for a long overdue step forward for U.S. pairs when you made the Grand Prix final, and you guys struggled there. Was that then a step backward? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
our career is a learning process from beginning to end. You can take good things from every competition. I don't consider any event a step backwards. You learn from everything. In fact, the mistakes we made at the final were a blessing because we came home and really we worked our quad twist and it's made some other things better. So, no, I do not think it was a step backwards. So, I mean, she's, she's our girl for a myriad of reasons. Phil kind of sassed her after the long program at Skate America and wrote not a very complimentary article about U.S. pairs after the short program yesterday. But I do kind of agree that the momentum just seemed after their first couple of events to kind of slip off a bit. And I think the thing about it is this season they're so trained. They look so great and I feel like they know they can do it. So when those mistakes happen, it's even more upsetting because you know that you're capable of putting it all together. They need to have a stellar long program just for themselves outside of any other placement. -er. I also think they're in that unfortunate year where they're defending a title. It's really their second year back. I mean, Yes, they've been around, this is probably their fourth year together, but this is really their moment in the new tier. They're competing against tougher teams, they're at the final, and I feel like everything is gonna be hard this year. It's not gonna be yeah. an easy year, and they're gonna have to learn a lot, unfortunately. It can be ugly. I think yeah, and there's moments, and I think the thing, Alexa, is so emotional, and I think that's great. Like, she takes things, like, great, <laughs> hard, and, you know, to heart and, and whatnot, but they got to write it out, and this is kind of a bumpy learning experience. I expect them to come back, skate well in the long program. Another interesting little note is the top four skaters, so the top two teams, they all wear John Wilson's blown. Yes. Pattern 99s or gold seals, so that was an interesting thing to note. Well, talking about wearing something, one of the funniest moments is that Alexa, you could tell she was very upset set but she's always such a character so during the what? twist she said that her dress came down and that she felt her breast was exposed i want to freeze frame this moment i haven't had a chance to really Poor like girl. delve in but that is when you're out there skating those are the things that can kind of as a skater you never expect something like that to happen it throws you off it makes we you also think learned a, a wedding more. secret about alexa they were talking you know yes. uh, over the, uh, the jumbotron so alexa's bridesmaids are gonna have tearaway skirt. It's just very Alexa. Tearaway skirts? Yeah, like on, on the dresses, the dr it's gonna, you know, you're gonna go from evening wear to dancing. Oh, uh, we need to go so to they're just gonna, like, little Le like Beyonce, a la Beyonce, like I little Leotard? I think they should. We need to go, they should yeah. invite us to this we wedding. We would be really good this. gifts. I think, you know what, we like champagne, we like to dance. Pure and pride, we can get you a More team Alexa. Like to talk to your mom, you know, yes, we'll sit like at the table. Mom. Yeah, I mean, we... Yeah, we're there with the whole family. Alexa's pretty sister. Yeah, yeah okay. and her nice brother. We would we would enjoy mm -hmm. to be at this wedding. Well, a program that was in moments enjoyable was Marissa and Mervyn's. So they're in third place. They're only three points out of second, but it seems like kind of what the other two teams have in terms of the longevity, they're just lacking at this mm -hmm. point in their career. Making some tweaks, she said when we interviewed her after the press conference, making some tweaks to their long program. Took out our favorite little dance. I'm going to miss seeing that. I'm um, not happy, but they said, but Julie Marcotte did say that they improved the slow section that I like so much. So. Oh, I'm very excited to see that. What did you think about those? She doubled this out. Interesting, last season, it was really the short program here was their breakout performance, and then they faltered in the long. Same score this year with yeah, a double set. Yeah, but they have improved. The one thing I noticed them in practice is that they skate with such command, such speed, such authority. Mm -hmm. It's why they get the Fantastic component. skating And stuff. it's why we believe in them, I think, yeah. so much. I think sometimes they don't have the consistency yet. I know that they did do a really great long last week. Uh, Jillian is always on top of it. And KMT, She's our secret source. Yeah, KMT as well. And we find that things out, but I think that they will uh, do a good long here. I, I don't know. I, I like them as a team. They have a, a fun dynamic. It's just very yeah, comfortable. It just seems like maybe they need a couple of really breakthrough performances where they do a clean short and a clean long. Yeah. Perhaps it's going to be in their long program here because they have the spirit. They have just a good energy between them. And, and they love that youth. program. Yeah. But I, it's interesting. I was you know watching everyone at the press conference looking and I'm thinking, Tara and Danny, they're long program skaters. Alexa right. and Chris, Marissa and Mervyn, they've been short program skaters this year. Does that put more pressure on the short program at nationals knowing this is right? This is program. the thing that you have to have those points it's that like you Gracie's triple triple, you can't yeah. miss it. But yeah. I think going in, you know, it yes, it does. They've both revamped their free skates. 
no time to, you know, write the ship on uh, right, and then become yes. a long program skater than Nationals. I think both teams have the potential to do it. Marissa's a gritty girl. I she mean, is, and Mervyn's fun, and yeah. they have the talent. We've seen them do mm -hmm. all of the elements, so hopefully they'll put it together. It was also nice to see Maddie and Max mm -hmm. coming back. She had that injury earlier had this an injury season. injury as well. Yeah, so coming back, I mean, there were great moments in the performance. She's just a gorgeous, her posture, she is the ballerina posture on the ice. Um, hopefully they'll be able to stay in the mix as well as Jessica and Josh. Yeah, I thought that, you know, um, Aaron and Setlich, I think they just have a little bit more gravitas when yeah. they skate so Polish far. Polish and, and, and Josh and Jessica are a new team and I think that they are a talented team for the future. They're growing, they're skating well here. It's important for them to do a good program. They did. And I think they're a promising uh, team for the future. Certainly uh, room for growth. But we had so much fun watching your boy Ernie Stevens. I know. I know. Hi, Ernie. I got to meet our boy Ernie um, in person before he went on this. That body, Dave Lees. I know. Back How about, he was like wearing like a. It almost looked like he was wearing like a Paulina Alley. Yeah, like, like a manly guitar. I mean, just to, and they've obviously had a couple injuries this season mm -hmm. too. Some rocky ups and downs. First time on the senior level, but we're wishing him well in the long program. Keeps it entertaining. Also, Always. The Mino and Sand team loved them, Jessica and Zach, and. Um, I yeah, an unfortunate moment on their death spiral. Um, you, uh, did you guys see, I don't know if you can see, but from where we were sitting, Todd Sanders, he walked back into like the um, alleyway, what is it called, the tunnel, and was just like, oh my God. It's one of those things as a coach where you're just like, they probably have never in their life done that. But Jenny and Todd did at the 97 <laughs> Nationals, and Emily Tunnel pointed that out. She that. said, do you remember watching that? Yes, of course. You can never stop, you l let your focus it go. It was such a moment, I remember I was like, after they fell on that, I mean, they had a mistake earlier, but that was just, I don't even know how they did the well, footwork. Like, I would just want to skate so he, off of the ice. He, like, had pause, been, yeah. done, like. he had been missing the side by side, so he did miss it in the program, but it was better than he had done in warm up. He, and, and yeah. warm, he rotated it. And yeah, fell. and so they were excited about this. So you think, okay, and then they did the throw, like you got through the hard stuff. Um, yeah, one of those moments. But I want to talk about the ladies because this was really the marquee event, and we have a surprise winner. So. All of the focus this week has been on Ashley. I has don't think it's a surprise in Paulina's mind. <laughs> no, remember we, to we told you guys in our uh, previous show, we said, Paulina's not Peter in her mind. She's yep. gold, honey. And that's what you do if you ever win the Peter medal the next year you come back and mm -hmm. you win that short program. Um, okay, so I saw a lot of improvement in her skating. I still think she can skate faster. She needs yes. to inject more face, but the jumps outside of the flip, which you and I both thought was on a clear outside edge. Mm -hmm. I thought the triple S, triple toe was Around. definitely backwards. And she was one of the women, guys, about, I would say 77% of the night had just been completely... 77? Why not 75? Did you do the math? I was thinking like 75 is like... Were you and Jackie Wong like cracking numbers? <laughs> in your My new friend. Hi, Jackie. Oh, um, Jackie Wong, pause. I'll talk about Paulina. Failed Paulina Edmonds on her pre-preliminary test. You're not supposed to fail anyone on, on this pre test. That's like you can do a crossover. You pass. Yeah. He was sending a message. But the other two judges did pass her. So, so Paulina she showed him. But, uh, but it, I thought her skating was better here. And of all the focus that has been on Ashley and Gracie, we asked Paulina in the mix zone if she thought she was here for the title. I mean, we focus so much what if in her mind she can come here and win this gold medal. And this is what she said. So there's been a lot of talk about Ashley and Gracie, but why do you think that you could win this event? confidence in myself, really a belief that when I step on the ice, I'm able to do what I do in practice. Every competition in the short program this year so far, I've skated with the program, so that wasn't an issue for me today. I'm totally confident that I can go out there and put what I just did out, so I think I've been at this long enough <laughs> to be comfortable. I've been doing these jumps for like six years now, so there's really no excuse to not be able to land it competition and every competition has the same nerves. I personally don't believe any competition, big or small, um, has a different nerve um, system. So for me, it's all about practice, getting the competitions and exhibitions out there and getting comfortable with it. So do you think she can win? Of course Paulina can win because the one thing is that we're going to talk about mindsets and talk and everything. I know that people sometimes find Paulina abrasive or overconfident or but she's very just direct, mm -hmm. she's very direct girl. And confident. And confident. But you know what? She had a Cheshire Cat grin. Who's sitting there in the short leading? You loved it. I I love to watch Paulina leading an event. It's hilarious. But she goes out there and does it. I noticed in practice, so she doesn't do jumps in the program. It's no. always been her strategy. This is not different. Only at events, you mean? Only she at does events. at yeah. home. Yeah. <laughs> but the flip half loop sow I thought was under rotated. Um, the sow just part of that in um, 
in the practice and we would see it. She doesn't, she does her own thing on the ice. The other ladies are commanding their attention. It was so interesting that 20 minute, you know, watching that group, uh -huh. Ashley, Gracie, Paulina, there was, it was like some fireworks there, but Paulina kind of just blended into the background. Did but maybe thing. that's a good thing. I think thing. it worked. Because yeah. I feel like, and we'll talk about, let's talk about transition to Gracie. I feel like particularly with Gracie, she comes in, she has so many expectations for herself. And I think someone like Paulina, yes, she has those expectations, but she seems to rise to the attention. Yeah. And I feel like Gracie, Gracie and Ashley, they, they try to mitigate that attention, whether it's by having mistakes or talking about how, um, in the mix zone, Gracie was saying that it's hard here at Nationals when you have cameras in your faces. But I remember someone like Michelle Kwan when I was backstage. She, and I see this in Paulina too, there's a part of her that kind of liked having that yes, camera. Like it was like. When you hate it, but you want them to yes, still be there. And I think that that's the personality type that rises to the occasion. And that's why I think Paulina is going to do really well in the long program. But we got to talk about Gracie because I think the thing that you and I have touched upon so much is the mental aspect of her game. And you talked to her in the press conference. Yeah, we can watch this. Um, there's been a lot of talk about your mental game going in. So you were skating well before the final, skating well obviously here. How do you address that? Do you see a sports psychologist? Is this something you and Frank work on? How do you handle that part of your training? Um, it's a little bit of both. Um, I have done a fair amount of work with a sports psychologist. I am just by nature, you know, what you would call a perfectionist and, you know, a bit of a nervous competitor because... You know, I, I am a perfectionist. You know, I want it so much that sometimes I just strangle myself. Um, and then um, a lot of the work I do, you know, is with Frank. And it is, um, and you know, I really did put a lot of work into this event, obviously. Um, not just because it's nationals, but also for myself. So, you know, I'm not, you know, that's why I was really upset with the mistake. Because there was, you know, I was just so ready. And that there was no reason for there to be a mistake, you know, I just wasn't, I just wasn't present, I just wasn't, you know, that little loss of concentration um, did cost me a lot of points. Um, like I said, fortunately I was still able to refocus because I knew, you know, one mistake, like, that's it. Like, if I want to even be relevant, you know, I really have to hit the rest, which I did. So, you know, I think that is a difference, at least from other years, and, um, you know, there's always, not there's a day in between. There's a long program, which has always just been better for me. I've always felt more comfortable. Um, and Frank and I have a mission, so. Yeah, so I think at this point, Gracie and her team need a come to Jesus moment. It just seems like something doesn't click between her and Frank. They have the technical, they have the training, you know, and I, I worry for her because she had the training before the events this season. We saw her go to Japan and struggle, came back, pissed for Skate America, did well. I think she's pissed, probably will do a good long program tomorrow. The thing is, is that clearly something is not all systems fire. She works with a sports psychologist. She works with Frank, talented people. This sports psychologist, I believe she was worked with before the Olympics. They clearly need to bring someone in. Frank is not a Jim Peterson. He's not on top of you no. in the back of he the arena. He doesn't have that, like, what we talked about with Alex. So Alex she, would probably yeah. yell at her. Yeah, and she, I think she needs that to kind of get her up. She, and she talks about being a fighter at Worlds. She knew she was going to do a really great long mm -hmm. program at Worlds last season because she was like, I have to. My back is yeah. up against the wall. And I think the thing that really stood out for me and mm -hmm. the quote that she gave in the press conference was she said, I want it so bad that I want to strangle myself. And I feel like there's a point as an athlete where you can want it too much. Mm -hmm. And we've seen her backstage. Her. She's running up and down the stairs before she gets out on the ice. I mean, she was so in it and so focused. And it seems like she just got in her head so she much. She needs to do it. You know, and yeah, I think if relax. it's... Do it, whether it's for continent, so it needs to get over that hump and start to have the broken record be a positive one. If, Do you think an eight point lead, though, is this doable at this point? You know, it is doable because nationals is political. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to. That PCS, honey, yeah. But they're setting people up for the world championships. Polina didn't score well in her components. You still have to remember that. Polina, yes, yeah, she did a great short program yesterday. She doesn't have the international cachet. Ideally, the USFS would love a medalist at Worlds yeah. from the US. There's but so they need hate. to see that the international judges are giving her the marks. I, yes, and they, but I mean, it's going to be hard. What do you do? I think the judges have some decisions to make. The girls also have a lot of skating to do and a lot to prove. I still think that Ashley has the most star power out there. Um, but, you know, there's Paulina Steady. And I was talking to Brian Boitano, and he said, 
he thinks that Paulina is the one. He mm -hmm. likes her air position. He said that he, she's just always done it for him. He, he just and thinks that she. Something about I, being able to put under pressure. And I read our Facebook comments. People have been texting me. People are just so upset. Upset. I, I don't even know what the word would people be, but do just they're very passionate well. about the fact yes. that Gracie and Ashley just like, time and time again, the door is open for them to have such a great moment, and they just they get in their own way. And I think both of them are going to have really There's strong so much long talk, programs. Though, with both of them, and I think that that's the hard thing mm -hmm. is that you know Gracie's just like I don't do single ups. I don't do. Double flips. Well, you are. You're doing it. We're seeing she it. She has done it in yeah. competition. It has happened before. I, I, you don't want to be mean about it, but I no. mean, these things. The do reality happen. is, or you have to be honest with yourself. And I think. And it doesn't happen in practice. I get what she's saying in yes. the run throughs. But I just thought that when I watched her yesterday, she was landing everything and she looked solid, but she looked a little bit more like Skate America practice, Gracie, where it looked like, yes. It's tight. She gets up, up in her shoulders. shoulders. And said, you know, the energy is not getting the knee bend. Mm -hmm. And it's just. It happens, and I think that that's something they need to, you know, really work on uh, with her. So hopefully, you know, that's, I really think... I expect her to do a good long, though. Yes. I expect her to, to stay in that mix. But I was more shocked with Ashley's... Com Ashley's had a demeanor all week. There's a lot of pressure on Ashley Wagner. Yes. Fourth title, the cameras are filming Ashley watching Gracie. I mean, yes. it's, it's intense, and they know what it's about. And she, Ashley has been in this game long enough. She, you know, she said, look, let's not do my mix on interview because you're all going to watch Gracie. Yeah, so she, guys, she skated right before Gracie, and usually the skaters, literally the second they get out of that kitchen, and cry they come back to the mix zone and the press is just on them well Gracie was on the monitor and as all of us we were like do we go to Ashley yeah, do we watch Gracie? Like, do you want to interview Ashley and I'll watch her yeah so Tor and Ashley was very good she said you know I know you guys want to watch her let's watch her through the jumps and then she gave her interview it was really interesting watching Ashley watch I couldn't see her face I don't know if she was staring at those dad like it was it, yeah. it, 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 one of the comments though she she did make and I think time and time again she talks about how before her music started she thought oh, I just want to get off the ice like why do I put myself through this Everyone feels that way. Everyone feels that way, but, but no, you have it. to, <laughs> not even that you don't say it, but it's kind of to a point, I feel like she keeps saying, like, we're reworking my technique. She talked about... It she doesn't look different to me on Well, the uh, her tweet. And she has changed technique in the past, but to me, I didn't notice a difference. She's been struggling with that toe in practice mm -hmm. all week on the back all end week. of the flip toe. And it was, it was one in her run through... Uh, two days ago, but yesterday in the 20 minute, I counted that she did five triple triples and missed three of them. And, you know, she was falling out of it. She didn't sit down like she did yesterday in the program, but she was under rotating that toe quite a bit, and she has a little bit of a sloppy leg position in the air. I, Alex and Rosh have talked about that, like a slight wrap, but it's just, just enough sometimes, and it just looked like she wasn't getting up on the toe. Well, she also, at, right after the event, she tweeted, I'm not mad. This is just where I want to be part of the and process. She, in the, she executed what Raphael told her to. I mean, no one is telling you to fall. And it, I just, well, it's not part of the process when you are going for your, four time, your fourth time, to miss your play, combination. To miss your combination. And I, I mean, Gracie was very upset and couldn't even get the words out, which some reporters were. But just, what I, it's uncomfortable, but at least she was honest. Ashley had the quote ready to go and the excuse ready to go. And to me, that was really jarring and said something about what just happened. Well, I think, ice. and we talked about it earlier this season, she loves to come from behind. And when you say this is just where I want to be, I think she wants to be the underdog. She literally, she, I think, but at what point do you say skating is too parts of the event it and a champion is, is somebody who can put it together both times and if there ever were a time to do it it's now she also talks about changing her technique and she has maybe two more years left in her career like i don't see the difference this is not the time to be retooling a technique because it seems to her fine this year about how you know, she didn't know her place in the sport, and is she continuing? Yeah, and like external stuff, just do the job. Just like do the job. Shut up. Um, it's and we love her. We I do mean, love her. She is my favorite personality to cover. Yeah. And a she great, is great a little skater. Scary she this is. Week. She's a champion. She's a champion, and I think she will do a great long. She brings the star power. If you if you feel bad in this dress, Ashley, wear Marissa's dress again. The old. Oh yeah, she, she referenced that this was a bad luck dress. I think that um, it is a good program. It didn't have the crowd appeal, but she did have a fall. So, yeah. and I think everyone just felt. Oh, yeah, like uh, you want happened. them to do it. And it was so such a well. rough night of skating, and Paulina kind of turned the tide, and we hoped it would just keep going. Um, well, actually, the woman that I thought turned the tide was Tyler Pierce. Yeah. So we talk about I said seventy seven percent of the night was under underway and not so great, and she came out going back to. Coach 
coach Tammy Gamble and when we were visiting her in August she really blended into the Corriere. I thought it was going to be her last season. Yeah it didn't it, look like she had she that power. She wasn't cheating but Rosano. No. I remember it was really quite cheated there and she's made incredible improvements in her technique in her fitness. She looks the best shape I've ever seen her in. And the second Confident. mark too knew they gave her a new short program really just commanded the attention of the arena and came out looked great. The question though of course with her she's never been in this position when you're in top three after the short program you're at the press conference it's a lot and the judges have to send a world team and I mean, she, she didn't do very well at junior worlds last I mean, year they're gonna probably stick with the olympic team i would think for yeah. worlds they've been our money uh team before but hopefully a great long program from her uh, and yeah, she can maybe win that her. pewter yeah <laughs> that'd I, be a, a success would, that would actually be like a happy pewter yeah and she talked about you know that she I asked her about last year because it was clear something happened after nationals last year for her and it was a funk all summer. I mean, she fell on a three turn at Junior Worlds. I mean, this was a rough go uh, with her and Corey talked a little bit about that, but they've always been kind of cagey about what the issue was, but she looks happy. She looks healthy. She looks, in, you know, really fighting for him and people have her as a surprise dark horse. There are a lot of tweets that we were getting about this, but I want to talk to you about the other ladies because you talk about Tyler not being um, expected to be in that position, but Mariah. Courtney Hicks, Mariah Bell, Hannah Miller. You know, mm -hmm. those were kind of the girls that people were looking at for that third spot. Let's start with, because Mariah is a separate issue, let's go with Courtney Hicks. Maybe no one has wanted success yeah. as badly as she has this year, which is admirable. She works very hard. Rohini You'll be talking was saying, to Rohin. You know, she came back seven times to work with him. She's also working with Vincent. And you can see that she's been working on that second mark. I've always been hard on her about that, but the packaging is much, much better. I'm excited to see her new long program dress. Yeah. Yeah, the coach came up to you. We have a new dress. <laughs> Parabens. Yeah, Parabens. Parabens. Uh, I just. Yeah, I don't know. We've seen her miss the combination before. I was surprised she fell in it. I was expecting maybe a double three in between. Yeah, and it was such, those falls were falls. And I mean, and then the Lutz fall was, a, and that was really, I think, the really surprising one and just the, the deflation when that happened. Um, and, you know, she didn't go to the mix zone, very upset afterwards, understandably. But I, I believe Courtney's a gritty girl. I think she'll come back. I, I, I expect think she's a really. Fight in that free and screen. honestly, she's only, what I did the math here, she is a 54. She's what, like five but points you, behind you know, Mariah? You know, yeah, like she's, she's seven points uh, out of second. So mm -hmm. it, it is doable, seven or eight points. Um, but not what she hoped for she in hoped this for. short I think program. you have to think, you know, the world team likely won't happen. I think she could fight for that pewter, fight mm -hmm. for, you know, assignments and everything. Um, and I hope that she takes the the strides that she made this year and next year where you can do skating skills, more ballet, and really mm -hmm. take her to that next level of polish, I think, that we can uh, work on. Now, I want to, Karen Chen, to me, another one, she was someone that people were mixed, she was skating in the mix, skated very well in practice falls for her as well that I mean she to me it's that manic energy she skates she's terrified. one of the fastest skaters out there but it's not a it's not a controlled yeah. speed it's like she's racing for the next element and um, I fell for her because I think last year she didn't get to go to worlds she was too young junior mm -hmm. world wasn't she wanted but this was just not not it for her no yeah. and the door was really wide open for her wide open for Mariah Bell too so she, trying the triple let's triple toe changing it up a little bit i don't think this material is the best for her so we saw her in the five or six minute warm-up they had like some like fun music on right she was doing a little booty shake. shake she was like mm, she had a little booty shake she needs a sassy sexy program mm. she's growing up and i yeah. think uh she looks good here she did have her hair darker which people were talking some skaters that psychologically that's always a sign that something may not be quite a hundred percent they always say you change your hair like yeah when your life change like there's a way when you ask them about, like they defend their skater to the end that they will not tell you that they're not like yeah they're, that they're, they're not a dog like, she'll be fine you know but <laughs> She had some great things, some awful things in practice. I think that she will definitely do a solid long, be in the top eight. I don't, but it's maybe not her year. Again, you talk about that second year breaking out last year, but they're upping her game this year. Yeah, she's adding, Grand Prix for the first time. It is part of the process with her. Yeah, I think she's young that, enough in her career. Process, yeah, but, but this, this is, is trying about. new elements. Mm -hmm. It was great to see her hanging on to the flip and the double axle after because we yeah. saw it skate in America. She had some problems there. I know the one sleeve is not your favorite. But yeah, I love her dress, but 
Rohit loves the one sleeve. He was trying to tell me that he doesn't, that they have sleeves. That, that he was saying that Christina Cleveland has two sleeves, just one is bedazzled. But but that's the thing, like bedazzle both of them. I like symmetry. Mm-hmm. They're symmetrical. I fight with Rohit about that. You know, he has his hair all to one side. He does. He like and he really likes that Scott one. Scott Brown side. has interesting hair. hair yeah, it's, it's all about the hair and the kiss yeah. and cry. What have you guys been watching in terms of the fashion? But the last one I really need to discuss is Mariah Nagasu because tough happenings for her. So Tom will explain this, we'll show this clip in a minute, busting her boot. And she didn't know exactly when it happens. Tom thinks it happened on the landing of the triple flip, that it was kind of shaky. Very smart of her to do a double toe, not going for the triple. She held on through the program, but you could definitely tell something was wrong. Some of the spins were off. She just didn't seem relaxed. And this is what he said about her boot. Um, right now, we don't know, maybe they were trying to overnight a new pair of boots. Uh, we'll know a little bit more later, but listen to what he said. Yes, what happened was the composite material snapped and formed a, an angle like that right alongside the, alongside the seam and it sheared the seam from top to bottom and it's not replaceable. That's what we're told so right now. So she's either going to have to get a brand new pair of boots and skate in new boots. Tomorrow. Tomorrow and be ready for Saturday. So um, she doesn't know So that's yet. basically the only option. From what I'm told, they, it's not repairable. Once that breaks, you can't fix it. So, disaster. I mean, you don't ever want that as a skater to happen at Nationals. I think Mariah, you know, she kept a good demeanor. I mean, yeah. she was clearly not happy. There was an no. FML moment when she was backstage. But, I mean, obviously, your boot breaks at Nationals. This is a disaster. But, but she didn't seem panic me I've been you know you're terrific Courtney X Mariah is one of the people that I have been tough on over the years because I see the potential mm -hmm. I see the talent she hasn't always had the work this year she has the work ethic she has worked so hard and she talked about how well trained she was I do think she has more maturity I think that she should continue I think that she's turning a tide and hopefully you know this will she can do and she's her. still in it as long as she can get the boots and just as a skater so she switched to this new boot because the of the carbon tight. it's yeah. easier to break in which is good I mean it's probably can you imagine breaking in a new pair you, <laughs> the day before pair. your long program at national it takes it, weeks to really feel like I'd say a good week to you, feel like you okay I'm not in a new pair you think you're gonna like fall over yourself yeah it's and it's just the blisters and stuff but I think she's in a mindset and we've seen it when we went to Colorado Springs at the end of the summer she seems to be Good, like yes. mind, body, spirit is in alignment. Like she seems, she's been happy, happy, this week, yeah, relaxed, congenial, yeah. talking to us. So, and if anybody can kind of get her she together, have I think the it's Ashley Tom. Wagner five that's going yeah, on. Ashley's Ashley. been a bit defensive and scary. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, there's a lot of pressure on. There's Ashley. a lot of pressure, yeah. and I mean, it'll just be interesting to see how all these women put it together. But we will be back tomorrow recapping the short dance and then the men's short program which we're very excited about tonight you can catch us on twitter we'll be tweeting talking about the event capturing pictures after the press conference as well but i want to talk about your mk badass moment of the day yesterday what was it paulina edmund's short program because the energy was down in the she sees was, that moment the vibe was so bad i really so impressed by her ability to come out, be in her own zone here. None of the BS, I don't, she didn't even get a teleconference before this. None of the BS that's been surrounding, she came in, she did her job, and you know what? She was, she's a very direct but calm demeanor. She said, there's no reason I can't do these jumps. I've done them for six years. And it was a great short program. I still don't like that one music edit, Paulina. I'm sorry, but it really upsets me during the spin. I had a, I had a moment every time. Rage. Jonathan Byron doesn't bother him as much. But, okay, but, yeah. but it bothers Dave Lee. Yeah. Well, my MK baddest moment of the of the event or of the day yesterday was also Paulina. It was this photo that we posted from the press conference. Caption this. She is loving the attention. If there's anybody that can handle being in first place after the short program, I would say it is Paulina. Well, another interesting thing to note about the top two, they are both in John Wilson's blades. Paulina's in John Wilson Gold Seal and Gracie is in Pattern 99, the blade that I used to wear as well. Yeah. Well, we want to remind all of you that when you get to nationals and you have your press conference, oh, no, you can honey. pose however you want, honey. Bring it. Bring the sass. Do it. Let those girls know you mean business. Hold, Hold an edge, edge and, and look sexy. sexy. Bye, guys.